you see a lot of people talk about it, but uh, passive income is is also kind of a lie. I don't know if you guys have experienced this, Dr. Ryan, but like if you're actively uh, becoming a landlord and you decide to buy an investment property, uh, that is the same thing. I don't care what YouTube video that, you know, if you're listening to somebody else talk, uh, what they tell you differently, that's starting a new business. That's a business startup. And uh, when you own your own business, uh, all the problems flow up to the owner. So the second, you know, if, if, if you have a rental property, the second the toilet leaks, you know, they're calling you as the landlord. Um, or if you say, oh, well, you can get a property manager. That's great. Well, uh, if there's tenant turnover and the tenant smoked and the walls stink, who do, who's the property manager have to call to get approval to, to hire someone to paint? The, uh, the property, right? It's it's ultimately on the owner to make those decisions. Uh, so uh, real estate in that case, if you do it that way, becomes building a recurring revenue model. Uh, and recurring revenue is, is fantastic. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Uh, but I think a lot of people make the mistake of just assuming, oh, well, I want passive income because I want that financial freedom. Uh, and and I, I see a lot of people like, it just not being aware of, of, of what they're really getting into. 